Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna give you 8 reasons why you should be getting the new Buffalo STX. So I'm gonna start by visuals because visually this car just looks so good. Compared to other muscle cars it looks like something new. And you can actually see there's some improvement in here in the details like headlights for example. Second reason is the customization options you have with this car like the liveries for example. Very good options in liveries especially this half camo right here. With certain customizations this will look so good. Also we got these louvers. And I recommend you to get the louvers for this car because it will add some extra bullet resistance on the rear window which is pretty cool. Third reason is the top speed of this car. Buffalo STX has 203.3 km per hour top speed which is the second fastest raceable muscle car in this game. The number one is the Pisswasser Dominator which has 203.3 5 km per hour top speed but as you can see the speed difference is not much. Fourth reason is that this car is competitive. It corners very well. It's much better than the Dominator around the track so this is right now the new best muscle car to race with. Reason 5 is it has armor plating which will make it more bullet and more rocket resistant. With the armor upgrade uh, including the armor plating, this car will need 4 RPGs, 12 homing rockets and 10 explosive bullets to explode. And in case you don't know, when you sitting in the car, car has more health for some reason and if nobody's in the car it will explode a bit more easier than with somebody inside. And the windows are bullet resistant, they're not bulletproof but it's gonna take a lot more shots to break these windows for the weapons compared to the cars that have no bullet resistant windows. But you should keep in mind that if you're trying to shoot on the left side your character will break the side window and it will not be bullet resistant anymore obviously. And the same goes for the shooting on the front. Like as you can see if you try to shoot in the front your windshield is gone. You are the one who's breaking that windshield so you have no protection from there anymore. Sixth reason is the weapons. You can equip the mounted machine guns on this car. I know it's not much use with these vehicle machine guns in this game because it's too difficult to aim anything and they don't really deal much damage but it's just some uh, extra addition to this car and cool thing about this is that this car will allow you to use the custom weapons even though you have the machine gun upgrade on it. Not much cars let you do that in this game. If your car is already weaponized, you cannot really use your own weapons in most cases. But not in this case. Reason 7 is the proximity weapons which is some type of oil. As you can see like if somebody runs over it, it will explode and your car will slide. And uh, one thing you should keep in mind that you cannot enable the passive mode after you weaponize this car. Or actually I have not tried it going into passive mode before I upgraded but one thing is for sure your passive mode is gone after you equip the weapons like proximity weapons or the machine guns on this vehicle. And last and the main reason you should be getting this car is something new we have in this game which is lock on rocket jammer. We also have the other option in Imani tech section which is remote control unit but it's just useless. Your car basically becomes an RC band detail but it's much bigger and uh it's much clumsier and he did not really want that, trust me. And that was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.